Yeah. Nah, we're good. We rolling. Welcome to Get Your Popcorn Ready Podcast. It's your host, Hatch, and yeah. my boy, T.O. Coming to the building today, Bria Murphy. No, let me rephrase that. The artist, Bria yeah. Murphy, the lovely daughter of, of course, the big time superstar, Eddie Murphy. Bria Murphy's coming. Yeah, he's like one of the t- best comedians ever, actors ever. ever. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So, I mean, you he, think about some of the greatest, like right off the, right off the dome and Richard Pryor. You, uh, you know what I want to ask? I want to ask Cedric if, the Entertainer. I want to ask if she's ever um, did any of his like comedy. You know, like if she's ever tried to impersonate him or something like that. Yeah. You know, I mean, he has because he's a, he has a bunch of <laughs> oh, he's, t- he's tons of characters, right? All the movies he was in. I mean, the the stand up was delirious, raw, mm-hmm. and then you Ooh, had, that like, was like some of that. That was original comedy. Oh yeah, um, parental guidance needed. Yeah, yeah, rated R. But um, <laughs> I said, growing up in in a household with Eddie Murphy and, and her mom Nicole Murphy, I'm sure there's you know she's got some interesting stories. But right, you know, looking to, just trying to see where she's at outside of them, you know, because it is hard in LA to live outside that celebrity cloud that you're mm-hmm. under, especially when <clears throat> a celebrity of that status. Like you know, what I'm, I'm wondering how she's reacting to that. Yeah, because I mean, like I like I said, we've never had to kind of walk in the shadows no, or the footsteps yeah, of no. you know our parents that have become like famous, like, right. like they're like worldwide famous. Yeah, yeah, worldwide. You know what I mean? Um, yeah. So yeah, yeah, it, that that'd be interesting to kind of see and get her take on you know what that's been like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Coming up next, Bria Murphy on Get Your Popcorn Ready podcast. Yeet. Subscribe on the Himalaya app or wherever you get your podcast. Yep, yep. Yeah. Welcome to Get Your Popcorn Ready. It's your hose Hatch and my boy T.O. We got in the building the lovely Bria Leona. Liana. Liana. Liana Murphy. Bria Murphy is in the building. Welcome to the show. Thank you. Thank Appreciate you, you coming me. up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We go, we go get into your 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 art and your background and all that stuff. Mm-hmm. Um, but first. Again, I want to, when you came into the building today, right, mm-hmm. you saw me, you shook my hand, mm-hmm. right? But when T came in here, you gave him a hug. What's up with that? You know what I'm saying? I you don't, don't know. know this dude. Like, you don't know me. <laughs> I kind of, I'm taking that personal, you know, and I don't want to hear you say nothing. <laughs> I want to hear what Y'all Bri were having got. a meeting when I came in. Okay, then I'll count for you. All right, we good then. I just make sure he ain't getting no extra love. You know what I'm saying? No, so it's just that energy, dog, and it's just. Part of chivalry too, just that. You, oh wait, you're chivalrous? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, really? Absolutely. I, I 2020, dog. Oh, so you just leaves, became dog. chivalrous. Now that makes sense. <laughs> Dude, turning that over makes new sense. leaves in, in 2020. So, so you've been in a relationship for for a long period of time. Yes. Is, is your man chivalrous? Sometimes. What, okay, what's your definition of chivalrous then? You know, um, is the is it the door you know being held open? Don't is give it, her the. You're leading yeah, the mean, witness here. I mean, I'm I mean, trying to help her. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. No, he does all that. He opens the door for me, and you mm-hmm. know, he makes sure I'm good. He protects me. He protects you. Yeah. Oh, okay. I mean, because again, yeah. some some women think being chivalrous is you have to open the door like every single time you get out, going to the grocery store and movies mm-hmm. and dinner like every single time. But like. To that, me, that's not you, being chivalrous. That it's takes doing too, too much, much energy to be worried about that all the time. Right, like, right If he right. never does it, okay, then you can be like, hello. Babe, like, babe. But, like, if yeah. he does it when he remembers, like, just be grateful. Okay. Be grateful. They, there you have it, ladies. Just be grateful whenever yeah. he does it. Yeah, because he's, he's, setting he's setting himself up for failure if he does it, like, every time. Yeah. And then you're going to be expecting it Yeah, it's all like the time. if I got in the relationship cooking all the time in the beginning like he would expect me to cook all, all the, the time, time. Right, like right. same thing yeah, cool, do, you, cool. do you cook or is he the cook in the relationship we both don't cook both like, y'all y'all starving cook. in the house with y'all no we eat out a lot yeah okay yeah. alright no this is Eddie Murphy's daughter you know they ain't doing no cooking <laughs> yeah, the lovely dog. Bria Murphy no, you know, yes good Eddie dog, Murphy's boy, daughter ain't no cooking <laughs> so, so, Eddie Murphy so let cooking me, so let me go back to probably when you was 10 you also had a cook right the yes. whole time yes. it's okay Tell, take us back a little bit right this is Bria Murphy the lovely Bria Murphy Eddie Murphy's daughter daughter and so she grew up not like any of us i'm sure of it so tell us a little bit about your background 
Uh, just a little uh, bit. Just a little bit. I mean, we we know you were spoiled. We know you had 10,000 square feet. Yeah. We know, exactly. you know what I'm saying? Like, Nanny, butler. You had all that. Oh, my God. You had all that. We already know. Cleaning ladies. Yeah, yeah. I had, I had a lot of that. Uh oh. Oh, snap. Oh, we got action. Oh, snap. We got action over this piece. <laughs> no, it's all good. They shooting. They shooting. <laughs> those, are, those, are, those are not real brick walls. I know they look yeah, yeah, like brick, brick, but they're not brick. <laughs> No, it's all good. <laughs> uh, yeah, take us back a little bit. How was your upbringing, you know, under, under um, Mr. I have, Murphy? I have no complaints. Like, I had mm -hmm. a very good childhood, mm -hmm. and um, I think the best thing about it was that I was allowed to be a kid for so long. Like, mm -hmm. there was no pressure to grow up or anything like that, and my dad was very adamant about us, you know, just being kids and not worrying about anything, so nice. I can't complain. Now, when did you, like, at what age did you discover... Yeah, my dad is somebody. Because um, like I say, we go a lot of places with T and he has his kids with him. Mm -hmm. And like when they're younger, they just see people coming up to him. Right. But like they now just they're walking like, around. This yeah. and that. They see people approaching me. Yeah. To, to obviously, like I said, as you were to your dad, he's just dad. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I didn't, I didn't process it at all until I was like a teenager. Mm -hmm. Like I just thought that this was life and right, right. this was normal. And um. I, I knew I was, like, very lucky, but I just didn't get the gravity of it all until I got older and I started sneaking and watching his stand-ups because I wasn't allowed to watch them because right. I was underage. <laughs> right. But I would sneak and watch them and I started, like, really processing, like, whoa. Like he's a big did, deal. Did you laugh at him? I oh, mean, yeah. That's... No, I'm one of his biggest fans. Right. Yeah. So, well, like, so when the first time you saw, like, Delirious and Raw, like, mm -hmm. were you, like, a fan? Yeah, like, I was crying laughing, yeah. but, you know, when you're young, you don't understand it. Like when right, I'm 13, right. 14, I'm right. I was so innocent, I didn't understand yeah, it. I that, just knew that was, it was rated funny. R comedy right. at yeah. that time. Exactly. And then when I got older, I was like, oh, Christ, he's, <laughs> yeah. he's smart. My dad, good. Yeah. He good. Yeah. So you funny. do you got any jokes? Do you have any comedic timing in you? Talent? <laughs> not that <laughs> like, I know of. No, <laughs> no. I mean, people think I'm funny when I'm not trying, but I don't try to. Be funny. Funny. Okay, yeah. let me. Have you ever tried to um, what do you, uh, inspire? Not inspire. What's the word I'm looking for? Um, impersonate. Impersonate him. your dad. No. Give us no. one. You got give. No. There's something. You got to have one. I, he said something sometime. Eddie like, Murphy. No. Eddie Murphy. No. Come on, Eddie. No. Come on. One of those Eddie. voices. You got. You've done one of those at the house. You've Eddie never done Murphy. one of them voices. No. Oh, I know yeah. you've been in the room watching or been in the mirror like, <laughs> I'm Eddie Murphy's daughter. <laughs> you've done uh, something. I've done like, you remember Dub Smash? Oh, yeah. Those I've little, done those. He like, does, he's not social media okay. savvy, so he doesn't know what that means. Oh, I'm going to Google it. Well, yeah, they take, they take audio from different films and you film yourself like as if you're saying the audio and it lines nice. up with it. So okay. I've done that with some of his movies and that okay. was funny. All right, that's cool. That's cool. Yeah. So, so you like, um, so you've been doing some acting or is it more of a hobby for you? Do you love it? Like, you know. Um, you I like? used to act. I stopped about three years ago and I used to love it, but I was also just doing it because I wanted to make money. Yeah, yeah like, absolutely. <laughs> yeah, that's a, that's a so, passion. Yeah, <laughs> you wanted to um, make money. Yeah, well, that's all it was for me. What? Eventually, at first, Eddie Murphy's just, your daddy, girl. What you yeah. talking about? You money. Need to make money. You got all the I money. I want to be independent. Like I'm not trying to just live off my daddy. Says who? Go. Says me. That's a smart. Oh, that's a smart. Oh, She's man. smart. Bria's smart. I, white I like kids that. be doing it. They don't like, be caring. Black kids can't do that. Trash fund. Them trust fund babies, kids. They don't be caring. They don't be working. They don't be doing nothing. <laughs> they don't no, be doing I mean, nothing. now now that I'm out of it, if I could go back, I probably would have used um, my father a lot more because mm -hmm. I was trying to do it all on my own. I was like, that would have been this. the smart move. <laughs> of course it would have. I told my sister Bella, who's like acting now, I'm like, go okay. ask dad. That's what I should have done. Right. But, yeah. um, you know, as long as you help learn. your younger sister, though, that's a, that's mm -hmm. a start. Have, now, have you ever been in one of your dad's movies? No. Okay. Yeah. Do you, now, do you, but now you want to be, you think, or no, I would do it. I would do it. It's right. not like I'm pressed to do it, but I right, I right. do it if it right. made sense and he was open to it. Yeah, right, absolutely. right, right. How would like say say if that happens? Because again, there's a lot of big time. Um, uh, actors and movie stars and directors they still make their kids or their loved ones uh, audition for movies mm -hmm. and, and roles 
um, would that make you feel funny if you had to do that? Or like, because mm-hmm. it's part of the process. You understand the business. Yeah, right? no. Um, I I wanted to be in one movie before I stopped acting, and mm-hmm. then they started filming the movie after I stopped. But when I wanted to do it, I was like, "Can I audition for this role?" And he was like, "I'll just let you be in it." And I was like, right, "No, right. I need to audition because nice. I want to make sure I'm good enough to actually have the role." Like, well, otherwise. that was good for him because he saw the potential. He knows it's in you. Yeah, mm-hmm. I hate auditioning though. <laughs> right. Okay, what, what do you hate about He had audition? to audition for this show. Yeah. I mean, wow. We didn't just give, <laughs> wow. Trust me, we wow. didn't just give him. I didn't Bria, just don't give him this role. Don't laugh at that. <laughs> Bria, no, you're the, you are the guest. You are the co host. No. I am the host. You dig? <laughs> hey, There's a difference. Hey, you can you say know what that, I'm saying? But people that are smart, they look they at and they say, get your popcorn ready with, with Hatch with and T.O. and Hatch. Who, your who, name, name should be first. I should know. doesn't have a better ring. Yo, you up in here, you in it. I'm just chilling. <laughs> I'm just chilling. I'm going to tell you just like everybody. Who did you know before you came me? Because she met me who a named, couple weeks ago at the art you know gallery you show. So me. Here. First of all, you no, ain't going to know. They don't even know your right. full name. You just, they just know T.O. That's Nobody all, even knows your real that's name. That's all they need to know. They're like, what's it stand for? Tashan. No, that's it. That's all Orange? they need to know. That's your we new know nickname, Bria Tashana. Mur- what if, see, if Bria Murphy, we called her BM, they would think baby mama. <laughs> For you, they would think baby mama. No. <laughs> but we going to call her Bria Liana Murphy. Bria Liana Murphy yeah. here on Get Your Popcorn Ready Podcast. All right. Yeah. But so, we didn't bring you in here to talk about your dad. That's just a little show. <laughs> of it. For show. We want to give you your love, your shine, you know, for you being who you are, establishing mm-hmm. who you are, obviously the dad of the great Eddie Murphy. Mm-hmm. But now you have some greater things I think you're doing um, with art. Mm-hmm. Um, I consider myself art. Oh, um, my gosh. He's not art. So what what you know. what got you into to, to art? Um, I've always just been able to draw. It's just a talent I've had. And um, it was something that I would do, like, kind of as a hobby, like, um, in between acting and modeling, if I just wanted to create a gift for somebody or just anything um, to release some tension. I would draw or paint. And then um, when I started reevaluating like what I wanted to do with my life, because I realized like I loved acting, but it wasn't my passion. Mm -hmm. So I was like, what is my passion? And I was like, Painting is my passion. So So it fulfills you. So acting and modeling, that wasn't fulfilling you. No, it wasn't. I thought it was in the beginning, but no. And so that was just for a check. It was just for like whatever. Yeah. But like say you wake up and like you, you're saying to yourself, I'll paint and draw for free for the rest of my life because I love yeah. it that much. Yeah, I do. I love it that much. It makes me happy. And apparently people really like my work. So it's like, which is always not? good. Yeah, yeah, that's always good. So it's always, you know, I guess doing something outside of the norm where you're kind of nervous that, you know, were people going to accept your art. Mm-hmm. Um, what do you compare your art to? Um, in comparison, I guess, into to what's out there in the market. There's different, you know, obviously genres of, of art, but kind of describe your area of your experience with, with, with your art and what you um, do. My work is mostly, I like to call it kind of a, t- a mix between like pop art and um, and just realism. I, um, I, I love things that are bold and fun to look at and make people, things that make people excited. Um, Sounds like she's describing me. No, she's not. Bold, <laughs> no, fun, no. You know? you say the bottom but, of the trash barrel. She well, was describing me. Uh, but <laughs> keep, yeah, it, keep I, it going. Keep I it try going. not to compare myself to other people because I've done it before, and it will consume you, and you'll start questioning what you produce. Right, and, mm-hmm. and that's just not healthy. So I really try to stray away from that. I, I'll look at other people's work to get inspired, but I try not to compare my work to mm-hmm. theirs because. Who's some of those yeah. people you look at to, to get inspired by? Uh, I look at a lot of people on Instagram and I don't even really? know their names. But right, right. outside of them, like right. major artists, um, I love Salvador Dali. Mm-hmm. Um, I love James Rosenquist. I love Andy Warhol. Like I, okay. I really love um, people that, I don't know, just think outside the box. Right, right, right. Mm-hmm. So again, you're talking about there's a lot of different types of art. Like mm-hmm. you said, there's drawing, there's paper machine yeah so what makes you you know like i said have something done with your hands more Mm -hmm. than create something with your hands well i i i just have always gravitated to painting it's just something that um 
I've been really good at, and it just gets better and better the more I practice it. It's like mm-hmm. a muscle, like any muscle. Oh, the more muscle, you really? work it, the better okay. you get. Um, so I just love making things look as real as possible. Mm-hmm. And I'm still learning. And um, I love sculpting but i haven't done that in a long time and Ooh, that's i and that's where you yeah, sit on the sculpting sit on the thing the, the clay's going around well that's if m- you're making pots like i want to no, make actual not, sculpt. shut it up pots. <laughs> shut it up shut yes it i'm up. glad you're here so you can educate him because he's just <laughs> you're, you're as well getting educated because you don't know neither <laughs> i'm art my, bro i am art i have you're black. not art you're <laughs> black I that's all you are you're dark art. you're dark so midnight i understand that's it where she's coming from i understand her explanation because that's what art is. It's expressive. Mm-hmm. Am I not? Am I correct? That was the dumbest art thing I ever heard. Art is <laughs> like, <laughs> you can't say she's dumb. She's just I'm not calling her dumb. I'm calling you dumb. But don't get mad. It is um, expressive though. Exactly. Yeah, I, I Thank you. Thank I you. I agree. I'm an, yeah. I'm an artist in my own way. Oh, it has God. nothing to do with physical art. Because there's well, art. There's singers. Yes, there's, there's all right? forms of there's, art. Those are artists. Yeah, yeah that's yes. what I said. I'm an artist doing other things. Expression. With my, period. Other expre- exactly. Yeah. Exactly. So oh. you have an art exhibit that opened up in downtown LA. Mm-hmm. Um, and you have this, uh, what is it called? Art. Tell us about Art for All. Um, art for All is a platform that I created with my business partners, Jay Johnson and Kyle Jordan. And, um, well, we we create a business called Art Us, but the mm-hmm. art show is called Art for, for All. Okay. And basically, we want to create a platform for up-and-coming artists because if you've been to things like Art Basel or anything like mm-hmm. that or LA Art Show, like, it it's really tricky to get in there if you don't know what you're doing or... But if um, you Eddie Murphy's daughter, you good. <laughs> At Art Basel, I was like... they. I was told that like one section on the wall was like $30,000 just to get that. And I was like... Wow. What? I'm not paying 30000 Just for one section too? No. And, and, you know, for the average artist, there's no way in hell that they're going to do that. Right. So um, we wanted to create a platform that would give you the same kind of exposure without costing an right. arm and a leg right. to do it. And, you know, just gives people a fighting chance at the end of the day and does all of that, and at the same time, we want to promote sustainability mm-hmm. and, um, you know, just spread environmental awareness at the same time. Right. Awesome. So, again, so kind of um, <laughs> educate us a little bit more on how that process works. So if you have a building and you have a lot of artists that want to come in, they get a certain space on the wall. Mm-hmm. And then so let's say if they had to pay 10000 they're hoping their paintings or their work is going to sell for more than 10000 so they can make their money back? Or how well, does that work? Yeah, it depends on the artist. Um Lots of people, they have a big range of what they price their work at. Mm-hmm. Um, people think I price mine really high for somebody. What's, what's some of your out. prices that you that you have out for some of your work? Yeah, give it to us. We ha- might have somebody want to buy some Brea yeah, Murphy exactly. art. What this you, is a platform. What I, you have, got? I Just, have some that are... Eight thousand. I have some that are thirty thousand. I have some that are fifty thousand. Like it 50. depends on the piece and how big it is and how right. much detail and time went into it. So, and I've sold them at those prices. So I'm like, I'm gonna keep doing it. Oh, yeah, you got exactly. back. Oh, let me hold something. Man. Let me hold <laughs> something. Well, I hear you. Shoot, fifty yeah. racks. Yeah. So is it is it always uh, equivalent to how much time you spent on this piece to how much you're gonna um, sell it for, or do have you done stuff in? a day and then that happened to be one of your best pieces. I've done stuff in a week that was some of my best work, but because of the energy and still it it, it took a week, but I was also doing 13 hour work sessions. So like, Ooh. it's not like I would, if I'm not going to devalue what I think the piece is worth right, right. still. So tell me, yeah. tell me about these sessions. Like how, how does it work? Like you get an idea, you, you drive, yeah, you I and your just, boo driving in the car. You're like, you know what I'm thinking? I want to do this rock over the mountain, something, blah, blah, blah. So, well, yeah, how where does your, yeah, where does your inspiration come from? I'm sure um, a variety of things, but. It mostly comes from ancient astronaut theory. Smart. Which you're Smart. not going to like. Yep. Because oh, um, he, he mad because he looked like an alien. <laughs> that's, the, that's why he mad. That's why he don't like him. That's what, go ahead. Guess but, what? That equates to art. <laughs> <laughs> you see, I, that I'll brought give you me that back one. to life. I'll give you that That one. brought me back to life. <laughs> that's art. Uh, <laughs> but, yeah, my inspiration comes from that and, um, just social issues, um, but mm-hmm. I, I, my ideas come like lightning bolts. Like I'll have them either when I'm dreaming, or I'll just be, I don't know, 
chilling at the random, house. Random, huh? Random mm-hmm. moments. And um, and then I get really excited about it, and I it's like I have to do it like mm-hmm. as soon as possible. Have you ever woke up in the middle of the night and just started drawing? Not drawing. I'll write it down and go right. back to sleep. But <laughs> that's not art, man. <laughs> to, to him, it's art. See hey, what I'm saying? To I'm you, it's art. Inspiration. Like, when I see you see, want you want insp- you want inspiration. Me, I can see this on a on a canvas. Some popcorn art. Do your thing. Do your magic. See, I'm just long I'm, as your I'm face in, ain't on it. It will this? be good. That's all we worry about. Doing is just That's giving her an image about. right now. I'm just providing an image. Well, this is somebody's design. Somebody designed it, yeah, right? So it is a form of art exactly. at the end of the day. So will that will yeah. that be um, like? What's the big picture? Will it be like you did? To design, let's say for for Gucci one day or something mm-hmm. like that, or do you, like what's the big picture? What's your dream for like to be an artist? Then um, I really want my art to reach people through all platforms. At mm-hmm. the end of the day, I don't want to just be a fine artist where my stuff is just in museums and that's mm-hmm. that. Like I want there to be prints, and I want to put my work on merchandise and okay. and sell it. And um, I I just want people that even don't even study art to have access to it and know who I am as an artist. Have an appreciation. Is there yeah. something, because there's a lot of artists, again, you see their art, you know, like that's who them. Yeah. Right. That's yeah. them. So is that what you're trying to do? Yeah, Make absolutely. an imprint and impact on the communities mm-hmm. uh, abroad? Yes, absolutely. What would be like the big uh, museum? Like I said, when I get in, like ours growing up, man, if I get into the NFL, it's own, right? So mm-hmm. like, what's the big museum or what's the big show <sighs> Um, when you get in there, like, okay, I've arrived. I'm I'm a if, big time if artist. If I'm a part of any huge museum, I'm going to be so happy about it. But my favorite museum, I think, is the Guggenheim. The Guggenheim. And I would lose my mind if I was in the And Guggenheim. where is that located? Well, there's one in New York. Mm-hmm. There's one in Spain, which I've never been to. Mm. And I don't know about other locations, but I really want to go to this The Guggenheim in Spain. That sounds like a very romantic getaway. Hey, you can propose to her. I'm giving you ideas, bro. I'm giving you ideas. Spain, Guggenheim, do Spain, a little trip. Guggenheim. You just, That's she it. She thinks she's going to just look at some art. Then you, she's looking. Bam. She's amazed. I'll pull it off and then she's going to be like, you just did with T.O. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you done ruined it. Oh, you done ruined damn, it again. No. You done ruined it again. <laughs> hey, hey, but that's a great idea. You know what I mean? Because she's going to be mentioned. She's going to be in the art and then all of a sudden she's going babe and you turn around she turn around and you're on one knee <laughs> yeah you ruined it dog you ruined it you Dang, ruined it their proposal it it's a good idea <laughs> <laughs> so the Guggenheim though that's the that's the NFL for you yes okay. absolutely that's like the Super Bowl mm-hmm. or Super Bowl yes yeah, Super Bowl yeah. did you watch sports at all growing up yeah mm-hmm. basketball basketball did you play it at all a little in high school what uh what years like, uh, ninth through ninth through my senior year, okay. but I just it was a private school and we what, weren't very what school, good. What school did you go to? What private school? Wildwood. Oh, that's really private. Yeah, Damn. nobody knows about Wildwood. Where, where's that at? I think that's where he went. You went to Wildwood. <laughs> I wish. I nobody wish I knows did. you. That's that's probably two hundred. Nobody knows that's you. Two hundred. <laughs> I'm just saying, nobody knows who you. Nobody. Are. They. <laughs> <laughs> they might not know me, but the ones that know you don't like you. <laughs> that's so all right. There's a difference. Shut I, up. But well, that's what I, you got to embrace. It. I love it because you got to embrace the hate. Um, you know what I mean? Okay, so you played ball. Okay, mm-hmm. so tell us what you install because again, we like to do this whole sports and entertainment crossover, like what mm-hmm. people learn from sports and kind of take it into their next career as far as having like dedication or work ethic. Mm-hmm. So, what's something that you took from playing, you know, high school and uh, high school basketball that you use now and like your everyday routine? routines or your art routine um with my art is to adapt and keep going big uh, yeah we talk about yeah. adapting mm-hmm. to like I said to, to yeah because um had some moments mm-hmm. when I was playing basketball that I, I could have easily give just us the stopped. moment get what was, what was the I, moment okay what was this the moment really bad I um I was playing basketball and I had my ponytail in like mm-hmm. this and <laughs> somebody, somebody told your ponytail I went out? out for I went up for a rebound and he was there my boyfriend was there my best friend was there watching and um yeah my ponytail came out oh they pulled it out I don't or know you, but it, it came, came out right. I just know I came down and no ponytail <laughs> What? And like as a female, That's like, your life. Oh, that was devastating. Yeah. yeah, he's like my new boyfriend at the time. Oh, I was like, like, oh, my girl got fake yeah. hair. No, he knew, but I was still like, <laughs> but for it to be on the ground, it's a yeah. whole different. Yeah, so I remember just 
thinking, okay, you can make this all about being embarrassed and mm-hmm. pick it up and run off the court, or you can just keep going. So I just kept going. Kept and going. then I saw my friend, she snuck over, like, on the other side oh of the court. Oh, my God, I'm seeing this. she picked it up and just ran back to the stands. <laughs> wow. Oh, do my I, God. The question is, do we have this on video? What? No. Please tell me we have this oh on video. Somebody God, in no. the world has got to have this on video. I had well, a cell the, phone, the game, yeah. But, um, the VHS, the, the recording, you. video yeah, the recording. Had the, y'all I had didn't have a camera too. on my phone back then. Right. I had the LG flip camera. phone. Right. Oh, that's yeah, funny. Oh, my yeah. gosh. Oh, yeah. that's, yes. you that's overcoming. Embarrassing. I would, an embarrassing would, moment like oh, that. Oh, it would have went viral. Yeah. Nah. Oh, today? Oh, today oh yeah. Today would have been, been, Oh, yeah. that would have gone viral. I don't think I had an embarrassing moment like that in front of people. I remember like oh, I falling in the hallway and then you would have got a, like that. But She would have gotten a lot of love too because people would have been bullying her. And then she would have had like people like Jada Pinkett going on the red table like, and taking up for her and stuff. You know moment. what I mean? I'm like, you can't be talk, you can't be picking on a little girl because her ponytail. <laughs> that's just how black women do. With some, it happens. You already know. It happens. It happens. Wow. So no embarrassment? No, I'm, Nothing Not like, like that. that. That's not really? big because that's in front of everybody. No, that's in I, front of I, the world. It wasn't embarrassing to me, but I had a something similar. Like I said, I'm I'm artistic. Oh Lord. In a number of ways. Music, dancing. He's is autistic. Art. Mm-hmm. I anyway. Uh, so yeah, so I uh where I'm from from Alabama. So it, literally I'm in a small town, less than fifteen thousand people. So there is these, you know, I'm a big fan of Michael Jackson. <laughs> so we had these Michael Jackson contests like every so often, what have you. So um pretty much all our cousins like went a small town, so we all like the dance. So we all pr- pretty much participated in the dance contest. Mm-hmm. So we literally we all got either first, second, or third. Mm-hmm. It was like my cousin, Rail, <laughs> or Tony, or myself. So it's one particular um, uh, dance contest. We're at the rec center, local rec center, and so I'm dancing. I'm doing my spin, and so wow. I do the kick. Wow! Mm-hmm. With the Michael Jackson, and I kick my shoe off. Wow! <laughs> I kick my <laughs> shoe off. So at that time, I'm like you. You in that moment, you yeah. like. What, what do, do I, I do? do? Yeah. yeah. Do you break the routine and you just go get it? Keep yeah. going. And or you keep going. <laughs> so I just incorporated the moonwalk mm-hmm. into the routine. And so I just moonwalked and all the way back to my shoes, <laughs> slid it on, and just still, <laughs> still did my thing. Man. See, that's crazy. You, know, you became moonwalk, first man. All, you walked backwards. So you first, wasn't moonwalking. First backwards. of all, that was creativity <laughs> on the fly. And that's wow. just that's just what we do. You know what I mean? We as creators, you know what I mean? He's not expressive. He's not in, he's not yeah, in your you know what he, mean? He's, he's not in your box. <laughs> don't don't let no, him say we No, he's not in our stratosphere. Anyway. You know what I mean? So it's, it's right now it's us. You know, he don't know about wow. I don't know what this dude do. This guy. <laughs> let me would you ever do um clothes with yeah, with your Oh yeah, we Loretta. um we actually put uh one of my works on t shirts at this show. Actually two okay. of them. Yeah. And it was really, really amazing. Okay. Yeah. Awesome. All right. So, like I said, is, could that be something in the in the future as well? Maybe have your own line and. Yeah, I mean, it was so cool because we had Diamond Supply there, and they put my work on the shirts, and then we had um, this T-shirt brand that um, what was the name of the T-shirt brand? All made. All uh, made. Recycled. All made. Their T-shirts made. Recycled bottled water. Okay. All right. Yeah. That's, that's so, that sustainability. Uh, yeah. Sustainability. So that was really cool. Environmental yeah. awareness. Yeah. My little yeah. ice cream ladies on there. That was really cool. Oh, that was so, cool. Yeah. It was dope. And yeah, I definitely want that to be a regular. Well, thing. I didn't know who you were, but we had a guest on the show, mm-hmm. um, Manny Santiago. Yes. Mm-hmm. And he was the one that introduced, you know, some of your art. So I got, he gave me like a little skateboard. Mm-hmm. Yeah. With your art on that. that was, yeah. I thought that yeah. was really cool. Yeah. That was from the show. Yeah. That's yeah, awesome. Yeah. yeah I, I thought it was awesome. So how how like um what was the end result from that show? Did, are you guys trying to was it all about making money for the other local artists or was it just kind of about a, having a stage for them? Like how that show ended up? Um with it's you a all? it was really about us kind of um it was like our coming out show. It was like mm-hmm. our first show. That's why we didn't take any submissions this time because we wanted to kind of stand on our own two feet and mm-hmm. you know, um just establish the the company and the show before we start taking in submissions so next year we'll be taking submissions and okay. it'll become a regular thing so yeah so is that hard <clears throat> excuse me trying to find that balance because as you say you want to stand on your two feet mm-hmm. and then obviously as an artist you want to provide a platform for a number of people but then at the same time you want to make money yeah. for right. your art so mm-hmm. is that tough trying to find that or do you like say you have your 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 team that kind of helps you know put that infrastructure in place um i think my team really helps with that because 
while we'll still be having the platform for other artists, we're going to still be showing our work. Hopefully it will get so big that we won't even be pressured to show our work when we don't want to. Mm -hmm. But, um, you know, it's the beginning. So, yeah, making money is very important and us selling our work is very important as well. Mm -hmm. But it's really about the platform at the end of the day. Yeah, because, you yeah, I mean, because I'm trying to put myself in your shoes and obviously a lot of people are like, oh, well, that's Eddie Murphy's daughter. She has a lot of money. Right. Why are we buying her art? Yeah, you know right. I mean? I'm sure you kind of factor that into yeah. to the equation. So yeah. that's that's part of the premise. of Yeah. And like I said, I don't want to be depending on my dad. Like right. people mm -hmm. just assume because you're a famous person's child that you're rich and mm -hmm. I'm not Eddie Murphy rich. Right, right. Like, yeah. I'm all right. You're right, you're rich. Right, right, right. You're right. Eddie Murphy, <laughs> Murphy rich. rich. That's a big difference. Make some money. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, because it's, it's a fine line, especially living here in LA, mm -hmm. um, of always having a, a celebrity or attached to that celebrity and then being away and say, I'm comfortable with who I am. Mm -hmm. I'm confident in who I am. Mm -hmm. And I'm good at what I do. Yes. It's not, it has nothing to do with, you know, who I'm related to. I'm good at what I do. Mm -hmm. And that's what I'm trying to tell him he thinks the show is about him no i'm good at what i do you know what i'm saying so let me get back to let me get back to see this art behind you right yes, yes. so we might have to have you touch that up a little bit one of these days oh, okay. so you're probably that, have to do a lot of no see my, <laughs> i'm good i'm ready i'm camera ready him on the other but, hand he kind of looked like a bull with a ring in his nose so you might have to kind of hook him up a little he needs a lot more help but than i do that, it, but that's fine but with his you have a lot of space options. you see that a lot of options. <laughs> that canvas that's that four head that five head <laughs> that's your canvas so you have a lot to we got work a lot of with. options. We can we can put some uh, no we can hashtag up there. Oh, we can man. hashtag you can that. do a lot with that over there. <laughs> Lord. You know what I mean? Mine is almost it's almost to perfection. It's you want to know why? It's, 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 it's hard to make this look good. It's hard. You can have you, you, know, you can have I'm Picasso saying. draw this, but it's gonna be kind of difficult, brother. You, you just kind of draw a circle and you put a, a fat nose and a ring around but your the, nose, and that everything look like you. But dog. art is always under like SpongeBob round face. She, she can she, she can like. attest this. Art is always under construction. There's not your really, face is always there's under never construction. really any completed piece. So that's this how guy. that's this how guy. I am. She, <laughs> we speak the same no, language. You don't. That's the thing. We, we know, as artists, we speak you, the same language. You speak language. any other languages? No, I don't. Really? No, I wish. We're gonna, we're gonna speak some some. Nope. No, no, nope. that's alien talk. You know, I don't know. No, no, no. Let's talk about talk. this little. Yes, yeah, like so. You're, no, we're you're, not you're, talking no, about no aliens. Hey, <laughs> no, that's you a, can not, get up. Can talk you about can that get up from the table. Oh, we ain't talking about <laughs> so no aliens, talk. no UFOs, no none of that shit what's doesn't a, what's exist. A UFO? What's a UFO? Why don't you? What's a UFO? An unidentified flying object. So if that's in the air and it's unidentified, there's nobody flying that. What? Who's flying that? Who's flying that? You just so you believe in UFOs. You just said it, right? So who's no, flying I said it? I don't believe in. So you don't believe in no, nothing that you've. No, I mean that be y'all be talking about stuff be flying across the air. And so I, somebody's flying, bro. The, that's be that's comments, bro. That's like shit falling from the moon. Okay, Those are like okay, comments let, okay. and stuff, bro. Let me ask like you boulders. This. Let me ask you this. shooting stars. That's what y'all be seeing. When that light in the sky, that's a star falling. It's a down. star, right? When the light in the sky stops and changes direction. Direction, what is that? It changes direction? Yes. There's the only way it's going to go is down. No, it, it's not going down. It stops and changes didn't, direction. Wait, didn't the Pentagon admit that there's UFOs yes. recently? Yes, yes, and they haven't let the files out, but they have ad admitted there's there's some unidentified flying objects. And obviously, Stop we don't it. know who's flying them. But Ain't I'm nobody just flying nothing, no, bro. Now nah, nobody's flying them. No, so now you're in denial. <laughs> nobody flying. It, look, she's just. This is interesting. <laughs> this, to her. this is. Dumb. I love it. She's I love trying it to. Too. She's trying to hold back. I can see it. <laughs> she's itching to get on this microphone and just piggyback. Absolutely. As I well, believe. You should. She I believe. her her I'm earrings. A firm right, believer. Are Egyptians? Yeah. I I think or so. Egyptian yeah. based, I guess you'd yeah. say. Right, oh which kind of is the basis of. The alien people, maybe, no, if you will. A, it's a part of it. It's part it's, of it. It's a piece. It's, it's a piece of that whole part. puzzle. Yeah. Yeah. Right? It's a piece of the puzzle. And so how much of your art goes to the background of... Well, yeah, I was talking about 
how I'm inspired by ancient astronaut theory. Mm -hmm. And that yes. is basically the idea that human beings did not originate on Earth. <laughs> Absolutely. Absolutely. <laughs> but the piece on the skateboard he got that he likes so the much. The skateboard, right? Your skateboard. So yeah, that, that's where it came from? It's derived from that idea. See what oh I'm saying? God. You got... He's going to throw it got, away. Yeah. He's going to burn he, it. He's going to burn it now. He loved it, <laughs> right? When Manny gave it to us and now he want to burn it just because of... The, no, it's in my car. But nothing, nothing happened to my car now. <laughs> <laughs> no, nah, it's, nah, it's some interesting stuff, though. Yeah. I have a friend of mine. He, he's all into that 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 theory of, of I am in it. UFO, I aliens, it. all that good stuff. I, I, I will, I'll, tell, I'll tell you one alien, or not alien, UFO story, right? Mm -hmm. So it was, um, I was coaching at Pierce Junior College, coaching football. And, you know, they have the whistle before, like, the kickoff, mm -hmm. right? So we we're on the sideline about to watch the, um, uh, watch the kickoff. And so they blew the whistle. And so everybody's like, hey, there's something up there in the sky. So we're all looking in the sky. And so right when like, everybody's, like, pointing, talking, we heard the doof from the ball being kicked. Mm -hmm. So everybody's attention went back to the field, mm -hmm. right? And then the play went on probably, like, seven seconds. We w looked back up, top, up in the uh, sky, and it wasn't there anymore. So I'm just like, that was pretty weird, right? What was it? What and it so we like? found out, I got a little guy on the inside. Okay. So I called and that night at the exact same time, they shut down LAX that night at seven o'clock wow. for an unidentified flying object. And then the next day they came back and they said, our, um, our, our government was trying some new uh, test. weapon yeah. test and what I'm like. They would have told LAX if that was the case. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So that was. Bri, kinda, look at my face. Um, but <laughs> I'm just, and that's my Bri. story. So I'm not saying I didn't look see the little face, the Bri. little green dude first floating all, in front of me. I'm just yeah. telling you what I saw. That you probably was saying? some remnants. Uh, like you said, it was a kickoff. They probably had fireworks no, shooting there up was in no the air. Fireworks, because man. it was a kickoff of the season, Hater. and y'all got Alien distracted. Hater. You know what I mean? They kicked the ball. You're off. a distraction. And of course, if somebody's shooting fireworks off, <laughs> because no it's fireworks. It's a kickoff of the season, this and of course, it. you look up. Yeah, they're gonna be gone. So, do, you, do you have Do you have any stories? Anything? Not like that. No, it's just something I believe. Um, I I've seen something in the sky that I don't think it was aliens. So I think it was us doing something that, mm, that we shouldn't be doing yeah and it made me go we don't know everything so i, was I just believe like, that, that we don't know everything yeah, that the government is that's doing. when i started opening up to the idea of aliens and i started watching oh, ancient wow. aliens yeah and then i was hooked. educated right yeah yeah would you ever go to space yeah if they could figure out a way to people are going to up not there. make you sick Oh like, yeah, you're gonna get sick. Oh, what I think is—is uh, is that thing. Elon yeah. Musk that yeah. is that's SpaceX. trying to SpaceX? Yeah. It, it's gonna be a, Take a normal. Up. Yeah, it's gonna be a normal. But you got the next twenty years. It's gonna you're be gonna expensive. Be going up and down. Bus ticket. Yeah, yeah. yeah, it's gonna be a ticket now. Yes, it is. I think it's a. Um, yeah, and like you might not $4 come back. Four million dollars right now to go up like uh, huh? To Who? go up and come back. I think it's four million dollars to go up and. Oh, come Oh, and you might not come back. Uh, well, no, you, you come, you're supposed to come back, but right. somebody's going to eventually not Ooh, come right, back. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. That's like if somebody's Trial flying from air. L.A. to New York. I mean, you have plane crashes. You know yeah. what I'm saying? But the likelihood of that happening is much greater because this is Absolutely. an experiment. Absolutely. Oh, yeah. We, we're, we'll be living in space in the next hundred Ain't years no for bad. sure. For sure. I won't, I won't be here. To no, you will not be here. <laughs> like I'm, I will that. strangle you before that happens, I'm sure. <laughs> not that. <laughs> but let's get back to this art, though. Bria Murphy on Get Your Popcorn yeah. Ready Podcast. Yes, so I have a question, and this is going to lead into our, our social status segment, segment mm -hmm. of, of, uh, of the show. Um, with your art, obviously, like I said, you, you, as an artist, even as players, artists in general, you want to be accepted. Mm -hmm. Has anybody said anything negative about your art to where it's kind of like pissed you off, ticked you off, anything like that, or just um, been discouraging? People, I've had, I mean, you, I've got different reactions. Some of my art has offended people, hmm. but that's because they didn't understand the message behind it. Like I have these new pieces of, um, I, I had my sister pose for one and my cousin pose for one and they have these gold chains on them, but they're like slave chains. Mm. So lots of people got, you know, upset thinking that I just was painting Slave. good looking slaves. Right. And I'm like, no, that's not the message behind it. Like it's about social issues and what we as people, black, black people, people go value right. and 
questioning what we value and how we're kind of mentally enslaved by those values, in my opinion. Mm -hmm. And yeah, it pissed people off. But, that's that's part yeah. of it. Did it yeah. did it piss you off though, or did it like I said make you feel no, more I inspired? Just, I just was like, I knew that it was going to be controversial when mm -hmm. I created it, but I also knew that like it was a bigger picture, and people that didn't understand that are literally just taking it for what it is. It's just an image of black people with mm -hmm. gold chains. Yeah, that's just part of our history. Yeah. So goes into our social status segment. We always yeah. have it where. Uh, are you active on, on social your social media? media? Do yep. you interact with your fans, this and that and the other? I try to. I'm okay. not. So, 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 yeah, yeah. Yeah. so, so that, that factors into what I'm about to say. So okay. is there something that, that you've done, obviously, with this art to where, you know, you've had a troll or whatever, um, where you've clapped back at, at, your, at your fans, whether it's positive or negative? Um, I used to in the past. I, I kind of stopped doing that, and I put a lot of, um, restrictions on what kind of people can comment. Oh, yeah, my, you can limit or yeah. you can just turn really? off comments. Yeah, yeah I know that. I was, He's not, he yeah, doesn't that's, know that's new yeah. to me. No, Good I've job, had, of course. <laughs> of course. Yeah, I've had people attack me over other things, but not my art. I've had people criticize my art, but I just kind of laugh. They'll be like, oh, that nose is a little crooked. I'm like, okay. But really? Give, give us something you yo, said back to him. I did it. I did it because it wasn't worth it. Crooked. And the nose was not crooked. Like, <laughs> like so they, they made, look, their eyes it, were crooked. So it made you go back to your art. No, I already look. knew it wasn't because I'm a perfectionist anyway. So okay. like, I knew my piece was dope. So I was just like, whatever. And that's all that matters. Yeah. Exactly. Your own opinion, not about bums like you, what they say. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> absolutely. Because, hey, they're, they're going to be haters everywhere. everywhere. Exactly. And yes. sometimes even, even under the three feet away from Exactly. You. Right under your nose. <laughs> right over there. Right under your nose. <laughs> Welcome to Get Your Popcorn Ready. We have Bria Murphy here. And be building. sure to subscribe on the Himalaya app or wherever you get, get your podcasts. podcasts. All right. So, so what else about, again, go back to that social status segment. You said you answered some people back though, a couple like back yeah, in the past in the about past. some other stuff. Give me, give us something. Give I us don't one even of them. remember what it was about. I I just have had people, you know, people say hateful things right. and mm -hmm. you know, something you ever cry about. Nothing that I've cried about. It's just always irritating, and right, right, you know, right, certain right. things just will tick you off. So you just. Like say what you want to say back, but it's not worth it, and it just gives them a platform. So I really had to mm -hmm. make sure I stop. So now, if I see anything that's like really negative, mm -hmm. um, either I leave it and I let other people deal with comment, it, yeah, or right. or I'll just delete it, right? And I'll let them keep trying to comment it. I'm like, I can just keep right. deleting yeah, because your true fans, they'll come to your defense. Yes, they will. And then at the same time, it's like a, it's like a. Kind of like a double-edged sword. I mean, there's a lot of negative that comes to it. But then at the same time, there's positive because they're bringing, you know, awareness, awareness to your yeah. art and what you're doing. Yeah. Yeah. And if you, yeah, if you respond, you look like you care and you really right. might not. It's just, it bothered you. Right. right. But it's okay yeah. if you care because we all, we're human. Yeah. But I don't like giving people power like that. Like, yeah, true. Yeah. Yeah. So if you don't know them, don't even know yeah. what they're doing. Yeah, they funny. don't know what they're doing. <laughs> they they really don't. All but. of those pages are usually private pages yeah. with like a bio that says, I love my three kids and God. Like all of them are that. <laughs> and it's like, okay. It's the same person in the basement. Yeah. Not doing nothing. Yeah. Yeah. So he's always had like haters on his social media. And like, I'd be laughing because it's like, I don't know how to handle it if that was me. Mm -hmm. Um. But have you ever met anyone that you that have said anything negative about you on social media? Uh, I, I, yes, I mean, and then and did you I mean, bring I've, it up? Then I have, but the thing is, it's like I've even seen them in person. It could be like within thirty minutes. Like, right? They'll be cool with you one minute, and then if you don't give them the reaction or the response, they that go you on want, your page, and, and then they get pissed off. Yeah. So I mean, I've been in, just for yeah. example, I've been in the airport, and so I use my discretion. You know, as far as when I go to the airport, because there's a lot of people in there. So if you start signing or taking pictures or giving autographs yeah, to like one or two will, people, then, got, then yeah. it's a snowball effect. So I, I try to use my discretion as to when or who approaches me. Mm -hmm. But if it's like some grown adults and things, like, I'm like, nah, I'm not going to do it right yeah. now. Then being on and in, on and off the planes, that's it's a bit tedious. You're tired. Yeah. I mean, you can get you can be getting off <laughs> early in the morning or getting on a plane early in the morning. And you just don't really want to deal with that. Yeah. So. 
I've learned how to police, you know, the people that that I encounter. So I've had it to where like I was a small airport and it was a bunch of guys or whatever. They were grown up and he wanted an autograph or what have you. And I'm like, no, nah, I'm not really feeling it right now. Mm-hmm. And some pictures and stuff. So I was like, oh, I'm cool. So I go around the corner. He asked me again. I'm like, no, nah, dude. And then he goes, I don't really like you. No way. Jerry Rice is better than you. Randy Moss is better than you. I'm like, so what? But just a few minutes ago, you just wanted my picture. Yeah, I was your favorite player. Now, all of a sudden, I'm... I'm the worst. Yeah. Why? Yeah. Why? We, we want to hear from some fans. Why y'all do that? We would like to hear. It's from so them. crazy. I think it's okay. Like it's not okay. Oh you my wouldn't God. do that to an average person on the street. You right. would never do that. Like so bizarre. There's a lot of things people say and do yeah. that. I'm like, you would never. Right. They say have this what we call. It's called that person. keyboard courage. You know, yeah, they're yeah. on their computers. It, talk about nobody it. knows who they are. They're behind these Twitter handles, all these handles or whatever, and then you don't know who they are. But then, like I said, if they were in your presence, mm-hmm. it'd be a totally, totally different story. Different, different yeah. story. Have you ever, uh, have you signed uh, um, your first autograph yet? Yeah, I've how done that. that. That was weird. Hell. Really? I was like, yeah. Is was it? How was that weird? But that's kind of like that's, that's like that's who you are now. That's like you know signing off on your, on your first it. autograph. I haven't done one in a while, but like I've done it in the past, and I was like, really? Like, you want my autograph? Yeah. yeah right? <laughs> yeah. That's. Funny. But in a sense, you like you you autograph your art, right? Or you? Put, yeah, I'll do well, that. Yeah, though, yeah but I coming yeah up when to somebody you. came up to me, I was like, well, we're gonna put it into existence. Okay. But when you become famous. And you go into that, was it Guggen- Hall? Guggenheim. <laughs> Guggen- man, yeah. you know, Guggenheim. Man. <laughs> I was closer than what you, you probably would have come no, up with. I was, no, you was about uh, to say Google Translate. I don't know what you was Guggenheim, talking about. Guggenheim. 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 Yeah. Uh, yes. You're going to become so famous. People are going to be going, can I get your autograph? Mm. Hey, that's just a, it's just a telltale and just a. To solidify, I'll sign yeah. everything if I'm in the Guggenheim. Guggenheim, <laughs> tell him to sign that check, though, huh? Yes, Guggenheim. <laughs> right. No, you barely said that. Like, barely got that. Just stop saying it. I started it, just, it just out. Say the, just say the Google big museum, something. Guggenheim, whatever. Oh, so, we have. What's been your proudest moment, or some? I guess your proudest piece of of art. Oh. And I know, like I said, that's Good that's question. almost equivalent, like. He doesn't. He didn't really score a lot of touchdowns, so he, I scored he enough. doesn't. Shut he up. doesn't really get what I'm trying to ask him. <laughs> Shut up. So it's I just like enough. I so I had like a hundred and something touchdowns. Mm-hmm. So it's just like people asking me like, "What was your favorite touchdown?" That's a yeah. lot. So I know you're going through your head. That's a it lot of art, me. you know, that you've gone I, through. You know what I mean? He is, I he think, only had like eight. Hey, they was it was a bad eight though. So it was like it was like a good it was like a good spades hand, a good eight and a possible. You know what I mean? You know what I'm saying? saying That hours. (laughs) No, it was eight. It might be six. No, I've given you two more than you should have. I think it was. No, you played eight years. He had six touchdowns. I'm not like you. I don't look. I don't wake up in the morning and look at my stats from 20 years ago. I'm so well established right now. I don't know if it was six or eight or 20. Well, I only I don't know. I I only know because as she just attested. To our fans give us information that sometimes we don't even really know or keep track oh, of. Man. So that's why I know these things. Mm-hmm. And it's good, like I said, for the show. So yeah, so <laughs> me and you, we get it. You know what I mean? So you gotta, I know in your brain, you're trying to go through all the art that you've yeah, done, wait, trying to pick out your you proudest piece. I think the piece I'm the most proud of is the one that is actually on the skateboard because oh. that was the first of that series, and that was the first time I felt like my work had really elevated. Like, Do, to did a, you autograph that? I, I'm not I, th- sure. I think I saw an autograph. I'm checking. It I don't know be, if that was if, Man- oh, I'm yeah, going Manny. I'm going to get that if autograph. Manny signed mm-hmm. it. I probably signed it oh, too. Oh yeah, nice. but, That's um, a masterpiece. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, that was the first time that I was like blown away by what I could do because I had other stuff that people were like, "Oh, this is good. You should sell it." But I wasn't confident in mm-hmm. that work. I'm still not. I'm like, I wouldn't want to put this up next to artists that I respect but mm-hmm. this work I was like okay this is the first time I feel like I could you know like be you belong people. yeah like you belong yeah, yeah. That I look up to and feel comfortable about it so so like your aha moment like yeah. Hatch mm-hmm. I'm sure we've talked about it on the show as well you kind of go through your career especially in the infancy stage of it and you kind of trying to find your way and you kind of in your mind all along you're trying to figure out you know can I really do this mm-hmm. do I belong how does my art my craft Compared to everybody, everybody else's, else's out yep. there. So that was sort of like your aha moment. So that's yeah. awesome. And it was the first time I had like real meaning behind my piece. Like What was your meaning behind that piece? Well, that was the ancient astronaut oh, that, one. But like go. all my oh, pieces of course. before <laughs> then were all just emotional pieces. Like, oh, I'm feeling sad. So I'm going to paint this. And mm-hmm. people would go, what does it mean? I'd be like, 
I just wanted to paint a blue person. Like right, it was right. no thought. Or right. No rhyme process. or reason behind yeah. it. Yeah. Yeah. And those are good, but like not like these new ones. Gotcha. Right, right. So like on a weekly <clears throat> basis, how many times will you do it like right now? Oh, well, it's my job. So now I have to do it all the time. Right. But what's great about being an artist is that you can pick and choose when you want to work. Yeah, yeah. You set your own schedule. Set your own hours. But if you have an art show coming up. Do you have an art show hours. coming up? We don't right now. But um, we're trying to set up the next one for next year. Mm -hmm. And I'm excited because now we have more time. The last one we only right. did it within six months. Right. So. And then, but in other art shows could come to you though, and you present yeah. at their art shows. Yeah, okay. and I have work that I can just go and put up. Okay. Like, um, we went to the screening for um Lena Waite's new show, The Twenties or Twenties on yeah, BET. Yeah, Twenties. Yeah, yeah. And yep. um, they had some of my work hanging at the screening, so that was cool. Nice. Mm -hmm. Well, anytime you want to do some art for our show, you just let us know. We'll we'll hang it and we'll. Proudly talk about it. Bria Murphy here on Get Your Popcorn Ready Podcast. Yes, sir. And you can find her on social media. Speaking of Instagram at uh, Bria, B-R-I-A, B-R-I-A underscore Murphy. M-U-R-P-H-Y. Mm -hmm. Because I know he don't know how to spell Murphy. It's right you. here in front of me. <laughs> I know. He still don't know how to spell it. Um, anything you want to talk about? Anything you want to promote? No, I feel like we covered everything yeah. I wanted to talk about. Yeah. 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 Cool, man. We appreciate we more, you. We get some more alien talk if oh, you want. Oh my god. Yeah. That's, run him out the room. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> That's the plan. Get him up out of here. <laughs> man. Thank you, Bria Murphy, yeah, we... for stopping by. Get your popcorn ready podcast. Thank, Thank you, baby. You. Appreciate you. Thank Good you. luck Absolutely. to you too. Absolutely. Thank you Thank so you. much. And tell Eddie I said, what's up? I will. <laughs> Eddie, <laughs> hey, you hey, you think we can get Eddie on the show? So, yo, great show. Bria Murphy. That was Bria Murphy, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, mm -hmm. again, beautiful, lovely artist. Uh, doing her thing here in LA, getting out of the the um, what's the word I'm looking for? Out from under, yeah, <laughs> out from under her uh, her the shadows of I her shadows, getting out from the shadows of her you know famous parents, doing her own thing in the art industry. Uh, again, left us what she did, the um, thing we did with Manny, mm -hmm. um, you know the um, the skater that we had on. So again, very impressive girl. Like I said, she knows what she wants, knows what she's doing. Focused on making her brand bigger, her own brand bigger. And uh, like I said, she's an impressive girl. Very impressive. Um, I was shocked that mm. prior to going into the art um, world, she had a little stint with modeling, acting. Mm -hmm. And I was surprised she didn't use, use her dad you know, right, to, right. to advance. Because right. usually that's what usually people do. People do. The but, easier path, right? right? Exactly. But obviously, she wants to stand on her own two feet. Obviously, she's doing the same with her art. So that was one of the the, the most interesting things mm -hmm. that I that I thought. And of course, always taking this back to you know the, the type of show we have here, sports and entertainment. I'll take it back to her sports world. Um, the story she told when she was in high school and her ponytail got pulled off when she was playing basketball. Oh my god! Um, but that that's hilarious. But again, some of the things that. You know, she was instilled in her when she was playing. She still takes those values today as being a successful artist. I mean, I think that's something that I'm pretty sure maybe that's in her DNA with her dad with acting. Sometimes you just got to improvise. Yeah. Ad lib yeah. or what have you. So, But the show must go on, like you said. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> so, yeah. Oh, and of course, my favorite topic that oh we talked God. about was no. her belief or I positive vibe about, about, you about the aliens oh and about God. UFOs and things that so they're they're real they're that's they're not where, real well, quit that's saying that they're in real in her mind ain't nobody seen no I seen it I told no you the story I seen down it on earth and, and not be aliens. in contact not, you're an alien but um how she gets her um her aspiration her inspiration her, her inspir how she gets her inspiration from yeah, that was one of her art pieces. Exactly. The one we have here, actually. So, I mean, Oh, that's, yeah, that is. Huh? I mm. told you. See? I can think, yeah, because the, the stars and stuff right yeah, there. Yeah, yeah. The galaxy. I that's forget where what she called it. Organic something. I don't know. I forget. So, yeah. I but wonder that, if this girl is real. She'd be cool. It'd be my girlfriend. Yeah, y'all look alike. Yeah. And there you have it. Bria Murphy on Get Your Popcorn Ready Podcast. Subscribe on the Himalaya app or wherever you get your podcast. Hey, y'all, make sure y'all subscribe too, man. Hit that subscribe, subscribe button. Subscribe. Share. Sharing is caring. That's right. Sharing is caring. Swipe up, subscribe, and share. Yeet.